there are women, they are without clothes, naked. And uh, men are in kind of uh, uh, black, uh, black. Uh, I don't know even the name of those clothes. You know, just a kind of high hat on a on a on a top, and they are all covered in black. And what I can see from my window sometimes, uh, it's a red light, and in, in this red light, those uh, silhouettes, you know, like a devils. I would say, and one silhouette, a big one, on the left side, I don't know, maybe it's him standing over the whole crowd and preaching, probably. Most people um, who don't know anything about it, or him, uh, I mean, I've met people who say, oh, you live next door, the man who believes in the devil, you know, and they get all excited and, and think there's, you know, some horrible goings on. Definitely, I think that Christian churches, they should be uh, maybe maybe active somehow. They, they should do something about it. Well, of course, uh, this is not the first time that uh, this sort of thing has um, been apparent in uh, the history of the Christian Church. Uh, from the very beginning, uh, in the fourth gospel, uh, this conflict of good and evil is brought forth very pointedly by a contrast between light and darkness. And the quotation from St. John's Gospel is, For men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds are evil. I would not want to dignify this uh, work out here uh, by calling it a church. Uh, it certainly doesn't have the ethical content that I think the Christian church has. And uh, we uh, certainly should keep, to keep our ethics high. And I think that this sort of thing that goes on uh, here is anything but that. Myself, I have naturally many of the same problems, the trials and tribulations of any regular minister of any other church. The only thing that really uh, presents a difference is the fact that I cannot uh, perhaps be sanctimonious about things. But I can do anything that I want to. I can pursue any kind of lustful desires that I might feel. I can uh, engage in any activities that are so-called sinful activities and not really worry about any ecumenical councils making it right for me to do these things. Okay, now for me to stand up and say, this is wrong, you shouldn't be there, everything you're doing is morally wrong and legally wrong, then I'm denying him his right. I'm denying him his right to say that he believes in the Satanic Church, that, that he stands up for what he believes in. You know, and this is his own prerogative. I mean, if he wants to do it, let him do it. And I think more power to him that he has the courage to stand up to quite a few bigoted people. And they think of it as an evil kind of philosophy until I begin to discuss the philosophy of Satanism with them in the stand, from the standpoint of view of being opposed to hypocrisy. Well, that's the conception uh, that most people have is that it is, uh, they're uh, really evil. Yeah. The, uh, the conce concept that the Christian church has exactly. of Satan. Exactly. Just the opposite of the Christian philosophy is, uh, as uh, most people would think of it. Uh, the Christian philosophy would put forth uh, a great love theme and we would be the opposite. We would just hate everyone. It's like saying that, that you have to only hate to be a Satanist. You cannot love. It's like saying that people that aren't Satanists only love and can't practice hate. Practice hate. Therefore, Satanists must practice hate. But that's like saying that just because somebody uh, uh, drinks coffee, they can never drink tea. And people like to believe that, though, yeah. because they always talk very much about a curse that's been conjured successfully. It even makes the newspapers. But any kind of a blessing that will save someone or pull somebody through a financial yeah. bind, nobody ever talks about that. And it shows that we are right in our judgment as far as human nature and what it represents. Sexual freedom is something we feel is very important as a necessary requisite of the satanic church. It isn't the most important thing, but certainly it's an elective. We feel a person should be free to indulge in all of the so-called fetishes, all of the so-called uh, 
uh, admirations that they would so desire, as long as they don't hurt anyone that doesn't deserve or wish to be hurt. I think uh, it should be brought out that we not only condone, but we encourage all types of what would be called sexual perversities and deviations because we feel that in a few short years it will be established that everyone is a sexual deviant, pervert, fetishist, or something or other. <laughs> and that the person that isn't is the exception rather than the rule. So we'll be on the ground floor. We'll be on the ground floor. We feel that uh, uh, too much emphasis has been placed on so-called sexual freedom in quotes, meaning everybody take their clothes off and, yeah. and, and you be reduced. You ring a bell and you say, strip, and, and then, you, you know. Daisy Chain and your anchor man. <laughs> <laughs> and this is really working at sexual freedom, we feel. That uh, to really have sexual freedom, you should take what are already your hang-ups, as they call them, and have fun with them. Mm -hmm. Why are you talking, talking about, about sexual freedom? Let's put it this way. There has been very few people that are against it, whether they belong to the satanic well, church or not. They just don't want to admit it. They won't admit it. So, yeah, that's right. Just as much well, it's another one of those IOUs. And this is practiced yeah. very yeah. Yeah. by other groups other than there. So here it's an individualist. Uh, it's individual desire. If you want to do this sort of thing, well, that's up to you. If you don't want to do this thing, you're not required to do this you know, in this church. Even uh, you're not looked down upon if you don't want to participate in this sort of thing, nor are you looked down upon if you do. I Whatever sure. your hang up, it's your own business. So we have homosexuals in the group. Yeah. Well, they're accepted. That's but they're, the accepted. Point. They're, they're accepted. They're accepted. No one makes any fun of them. There's no them. tolerance, in other words, of homosexuals. We don't feel as though we have to tolerate no. them. No. We just simply accept, really accept them just as much as we would accept ourselves or the person next to us that would think exactly the way we would sexually. The attitude is, who cares? Well, I think well, this, is, this is Satanism, yeah. actually. Yeah. The, the acceptance without tolerance, as, as Anton said, is just a natural acceptance of people as they really are. And when you come right down to the essence of Satanism, isn't this really what Satanism is? It's the only normal it, 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 way. Right. It's, that's right. Not it's, an, it's not tolerant. Actually, we're it is, normal. It's knowledge and acceptance of people as they really are. It's reality. It's practicality. I don't really find it that logical. I find it for someone who wants to enjoy life while they're here, but not worry about what's actually in the afterlife. We believe in a pre-existence. We ask the questions, where did we come from, why are we here, and where are we going? We know we had a pre-existence, we're on the earth to be tried and to gain a mortal body. And after we die, we go to a spirit world, spirit world and then we're judged and sent to one of the three kingdoms, celestial, terrestrial, or telestial. That's how we feel and it's stated in the Bible. And we do believe very firmly and strictly in the Bible. This is our basic belief. We believe that there is a God, that he had a son, Jesus Christ. He was the first. And then Satan was the one who was cast out because of his selfishness. I guess the two most popular reasons that people join the church is because either they're just disgusted, they're just fed up with a sanctimonious pussy footing around that other religions have given them, and they're just tired of uh, saying one thing and practicing another, and they'd like to at least get together with other people, and after all, man is a social animal, and uh, no different than any other animal, except he's probably the most vicious of all animals and uh, he wants to get together with other people that feel the same way he does. And why not belong to a religion or to a group of people that at least uh, believe in the same philosophy? I met Anton at a party, and there was an immediate sympathy between us. So we exchanged cards and talked to each other over the telephone. And uh, Anton said, I know you're a witch and you must come to our Valpurgis night, which is now about three or four years ago, isn't it, there? And uh, from then on, I became more and more interested. Of course, I was interested in witchcraft to begin with, and that is connected with Satan, as we all know.